Well, this is Chris Chair with Everyday VBA. In this video, we're going to be going over what a nested if statement. Now, if something's nested, that means that it's just inside of something else. And so we're just going to go ahead and dig right into the code. If you hit Alt F11, that's going to open up your Visual Basic window. And we are going to start coding. So first thing we need to do is add a module. So we've added a module. You know, so I'm in book one. We're going to call this sub nested if. I almost put a space in there. That would have yelled at me. And we would have had all sorts of problems. It would have been mayhem. OK, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do inbox. We're going to do a simple message box equals um, MSG box, And it's going to be, can I ask you a question? Let's spell it right. And we need to do VB, yes, no. And that's all we're going to do. OK, so we're going to go if. V, uh, if inbox equals VB yes, then and if. Okay. So this is really simple. We've got a standard if statement. Uh, we've got your criteria if inbox equals VB yes. VB yes happens to be a constant. Um, the way that um, you can double check that is if you just do everything lowercase and it capitalizes it, it means that it's a constant or it's a number. Um, but now what do we want? Now we want to do a nested if. So we're gonna we're gonna do another question. So the question is. Um, so we're gonna do i is equal to input box. Input box. How old are you? Okay, you got to do it right. Um, now there's other things you could do. You could do a title, right? So we are going to go if, and this is our nested if. Um, now you'll also notice that on anything that I'm doing inside of this if statement, um, I'm using a tab to indent it. And really that's just the best way to do the code. It just makes it significantly easier to, um, makes it significantly easier to read. So we're going to go if i is greater than Let's just say 35 for fun. Then we're going to do something else. And okay, this is our nested. If, this is our nested if right here. And we're going to go MSG box MSG. Got to spell it right. You are old. MSG box. You are a young and you are young. We'll just do you are young. All right. So what we have now is we've got basically what a nested if is, which is really simply you have an if statement with an if statement inside of that if statement. Um, now, sometimes you don't have to necessarily do this because you can do use and or 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 do multiple criteria. I do have a video on that as well. Um, but you can do that. So let's just go through this. See if it works. I did this from scratch. I've got a block if error. You will run into these when you do ifs all the time. I said end, but I didn't tell it what to end. I got to end my end if. All right. Can I ask you a question? No. We're done. Right. So that would be. <laughs> you'd be like, I don't. I don't want to answer a question. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Okay. So we've got VBS. How old are you? We're going to say 20, and this is going to go right into my nested if. Now, I'm, I'm using F8 to go through this line by line. It's going to say you are young, and the code is done. And we're going to do F5. Yes. We're going to say 40. You are old. So that is a just a, a quick rundown of what a nested if statement does. Uh, you, if you've coded for any amount of time, you will use nested ifs. You will use nested fors. You will use lots of things where you ask a question or a criteria, and then you have different criteria within that criteria. Hope this is helpful. Make sure that you subscribe to the Everyday VBA channel. Make sure you like the videos. Leave a comment, please. That would be great. Have a great day.